The National Broadcasting Company presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Politan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. <clears throat> Good evening, uh, lovers of television drama everywhere. I am delighted to make uh, this announcement tonight of a production uh, which we are doing this evening. Uh, I know that you all enjoy melodrama, and tonight you are going to get melodrama at its mellowest, because we are presenting a very fine uh, cast in an excellent play uh, written by Miss Beulah Witch, uh, entitled uh, Flashback. <clears throat> now, the reason we have used uh, this title, mm -hmm. Flashback, is because uh, it is a device uh, that is very seldom used on the uh, television screen to uh, depict uh, uh, various happenings at different times. We uh, had planned, uh, uh, we don't have a great deal of scenery. We're trying to, trying to do this on a low uh, operating budget, but we feel that the performances and the story itself will, will do more than a lot of fancy scenery and lighting effects. And uh, we uh, did intend to use something new uh, on the television screen called split screen. Uh, so that you uh, would be enable uh, it would enable you to uh, to watch uh, two people in different parts of the studio uh, uh, carrying on conversation or what have you uh, at the same time by the means of splitting your screen and showing you half a picture. Unfortunately, uh, the first time we tried this background here that you see is made out of rayon, and uh, uh, the knife that I used I guess wasn't quite straight anyway. It all just raveled, so we couldn't split it that way. So we have come up with this fine suggestion, which I think will work. If any of you folks at home have a nice black crayon, I suggest uh, dropping a plumb line from the top of your television set uh, to uh, the bottom. And, uh, the, hmm? No, plumb line. No, no, I wasn't suggesting anything like that. Madam Oakley thought I was talking about plums. No, 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 plumb line, my dear. I'm what? Well, you're a plumb crazy, too. <clears throat> And I would suggest that you draw this line. Be very careful that you measure it right in the middle and draw it right down. At the, we'll give you a few seconds to do this. Uh, do not push too hard and be careful. Well, I don't know it's such a good suggestion after all. But if you feel like having a split screen, well, you split it yourself. All right? Fine. <clears throat> now, this is called, uh, this is the further adventures of, of a Martin Tooth uh, private dragon. And, uh, it is, it is. And, uh, pardon me? Oh, no, Martin Dragon, Private Tooth. I beg your pardon. I had the horse before the cart. Oh, I mean the cart before the horse. Oh, you understand, I'm sure. <clears throat> it's all sheer nonsense. And uh, I think you will enjoy it very much. And uh, it'll take us just a few minutes to set the stage. And we uh, open our uh, play uh, in the busy office of uh, Martin Dragon, Private Tooth. Uh, and it's early in the morning. Well, it's not so early. It's around noon, as a matter of fact. And he always gets in late. You know, he's a very casual fellow. He sleeps late. Hold on. Where are the stagehands? Well, don't be so bored about it. You're, you're getting paid overtime tonight. All righty. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Snump. Any business? <laughs> well, don't disturb me. Uh, don't disturb me at all. I don't want any calls or anything. <sighs> that last case just about wore me out. <laughs> I told that girl not to disturb me. Prop boy. <laughs> I told you not to disturb... Who? In the outer office? No, oh, I don't want to be disturbed. Oh, she is, huh? Well... Okay. Oh, you bet. Well, send her in. And I'll take no more calls for today. Okay. <laughs> you bet. Hang it up. Hmm. Never expected a visit from her. Ermine to the oomph. Hmm. The wealthy socialite from up North Shore way. Oh, here she comes now. You're Mr. Tooth? Dragon. Mr. Dragon, I've come to you because I... I didn't 
know where to turn. Something terrible has happened. What's that? One of my husband's guppies has been stolen. Not one of the great oomph guppies. One of the great oomph guppies. His favorite, too. Griselda. <gasps> Who could have done this horrible deed? <laughs> Safe cracking, I can understand. Few things like that. But snatching a guppy? It's inhuman. Inhuman. Tell me about it. How did it all happen? Well, it was like this. I was at the opera by myself. My husband doesn't care for music. I said good night to my gay companions of my early youth. And I walked in the door. Flashback. All right. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. I had a lovely evening. It was simply wonderful. Simply wonderful. Umphi, I'm home. Umphi. Umphi, I'm home. Ah! Umphi. Speak to me. is gone. Griselda! No! Not Griselda! Stolen. And only this morning, just this morning, I remembered you with Griselda and all the guppies. Flashback. So you don't think you'll go to the opera with me tonight, hmm? I don't believe so, my dear. You go by yourself with your gay companions of your early youth because I'm going to stay home tonight and count Guppy. I wish you would join me, but I know you do not like the opera. It is that I, not that I do not like it, but I like Guppies better. And I think I will stay. Have a good time, my dear. I will be waiting for you. Yes. Too bad you don't like opera. I remember the first time when I met you. I could see it now, just as if flashback. Oh, what a lovely day. What a perfectly beautiful day. I think I shall stroll down to Carnegie Hall. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, that's quite all right. Gracious, I didn't see you coming out of that building. I didn't see you walking by either. Well, small world, isn't it? Indeed it is. Are you a music lover? Oh, yes. It's too bad that I didn't study voice when I was a child. Well, that is too bad. What a pity. Well, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. I... Am I too bold, sir? Would you care to join me at the opera tonight? Why, I'd be very glad to. Reminds me of the first time I ever went to the opera. I can remember it just as if I were right there this very minute. Flashback! Bueller, aren't we ever going to get back to what? Just keep quiet. Bueller, I'm still in the office. I'm supposed to be listening to us. Well, let me see now. Where are we? Which flashback are we in? Okay, now. We've got to get back to the office. We'll have to go through all those flashbacks. Jack! Yeah? Which flashback are we in? Uh, first time at the opera. First time at the opera. Well, let's skip that one. All right, it's all right with me. I wasn't in it anyway. It's before you met me. Well, that's right. Now, let me see. How did that script go? Oh, I know. <clears throat> if we do the scene about the opera, the first time I was in the opera, then we do a flashback to scenes of my childhood. Now, let me see. Oh, yes, I know. <clears throat> I'm in the opera, see, and I'm watching it. And I think to myself, why, that reminds me of the very first time I crossed the plains. Why, I, I can almost feel that I'm, I'm there now. Flashback! I'm my own grandma. 
Ridiculous. I, this is absolutely ridiculous. We can't go on with this thing any longer. How many more flashbacks are there? Well, we go on back to when I was a very young girl. And uh, then then there's one of my mother and father. And that was before I'm in. Let's go back to that one. I don't think you like this play very well. Sure, I like the play, but Lay, you know, this is a detective story and I is a it's supposed to feature me. I'm Martin Dragon Private Tooth. Ooh, let's get out of this. I get seasick. Now, what about it? Well, I wrote the play. I don't see why I should be able to run the way I want to. You're not going to stalk, are you? I just might. That would be very good for the contest. What contest? You mean to say you are not going to enter into the National Open Tournament for uh, musical chairs? Why well, didn't get any notice? Why, I was runner-up in the semifinals. I didn't realize. When's it being held? This weekend. Why? Why? Of course I... Heavens, hang the play. Well, Jack. Yeah, we... <laughs> Best of intentions. I'm awfully sorry. It was a very exciting thing. I like it. Yeah, it turned out that the guppy wasn't missing at all. Oh? No, it was shy. And it was hiding behind some seaweed, you see. And it, it all ended out very nicely. I was, I, I, I found that out, you see, and everything. Resolved seems, to a happy ending. Yeah, it seems kind of dark in here. Cook, are all the lights on? Yeah, I think they all are. Oh, I wonder what it was. What are you playing? Joe College? No, we were playing Martin Dragon Private. Well, we were doing flashbacks, and Beulah got so involved in the flashbacks, we could never get back to it again. Probably just as well. I think so, too. Did you know she's uh, entering the contest for uh, uh, musical chairs? Yeah, I know. I know. She's, you know, she's excellent at that. Well, I, uh, of course, she's, she's an amateur. Oh, naturally, she's an amateur. She's not going to break the professional rating because she's going to be... You know she's going to the Olympics. I didn't know that. For musical chairs? You bet. <laughs> yes, sir. She's the great hope of the United States this year. I didn't know that. You bet. Oh, and that girl gets going. She's so sensational. Have you seen her, Jack? Not in action. <laughs> well, you'll have to see her. We'll, we'll go to the contest together. Well. Over the weekend. Okay. You anything from Fran? Not today. I have something very special for you. What is it? A surprise. What? Tell me. Wouldn't be surprised if you told me. Tell me. When's it going to happen? Tuesday. Can't wait till Tuesday. Tell me now. No, it's going to happen Tuesday. It's a special surprise, and it's all for you. Jack knows, too. I won't tell you, and don't you tell either. I won't tell. I wonder what in the world it can be. Ollie. What? Remember, in television. Oh, it's Ollie. Cook what? The friend. <laughs> <laughs> the musical director of Cook, Fran and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary, the director is Louis Gomovitz, the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood, and the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Tilstrom. Good night. Cook, Lafran, and Ollie was brought to you from Chicago by the National Broadcasting Company. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.